In geometry, a torus plural tori is a surface of revolution generated by revolving a circle in three-dimensional space about an axis coplanar with the circle. If the axis of revolution does not touch the circle, the surface has a ring shape and is called a torus of revolution. Real-world examples of toroidal objects include inner tubes. A torus should not be confused with a solid torus, which is formed by rotating a disc, rather than a circle, around an axis. A solid torus is a torus plus the volume inside the torus. Real-world approximations include donuts, non-inflatable lifebuoys, and O-rings. In topology, a ring torus is homeomorphic to the Cartesian product of two circles, S1 times S1, and the latter is taken to be the definition in that context. It is a compact two-manifold of genus 1. The ring torus is one way to embed this space into Euclidean space, but another way to do this is the Cartesian product of the embedding of S1 in the plane with itself. This produces a geometric object called the Clifford torus, a surface in four space. In the field of topology, a torus is any topological space that is topologically equivalent to a torus. Famously, a coffee cup and a donut are both topological tori. Topic geometry A torus can be defined parametrically by x theta phi equals r plus r cos theta cos phi y theta phi equals r plus r cos theta sin phi z theta phi equals r sin theta display style begin aligned x theta var phi and equals r plus r cos theta cos var phi y theta var phi and equals r plus r cos theta sin var phi z theta var phi and equals r sin theta end aligned where theta phi are angles which make a full circle circle, so that their values start and end at the same point, r is the distance from the center of the tube to the center of the torus, r is the radius of the tube, r is known as the major radius and r is known as the minor radius. The ratio r divided by r is known as the aspect ratio. The typical donut confectionery has an aspect ratio of about 3 to 2. An implicit equation in Cartesian coordinates for a torus radially symmetric about the z-axis is x 2 plus y 2 minus r 2 plus z 2 equals r 2 display style left sqrt x caret 2 plus y caret 2 r right caret 2 plus z caret 2 equals r caret 2 or the solution of f x y z equals 0 where f x y z equals x 2 plus y 2 minus r 2 plus z 2 minus r 2 Display style f x y z equals left sqrt x caret two plus y caret two r right caret two plus z caret two r caret two. Algebraically eliminating the square root gives a quartic equation: x two plus y two plus z two plus r two minus r two two equals four r two x two plus y two. Display style left x caret two plus y caret two plus z caret two plus r caret two r caret two right caret two equals four r caret two left x caret two plus y caret two right. The three different classes of standard tori correspond to the three possible aspect ratios between r and r. When r greater than r, the surface will be the familiar ring torus or anchor ring. R equals r corresponds to the horn torus, which in effect is a torus with no hole. R when R equals zero, the torus degenerates to the sphere. When R R, the interior x two plus y two minus R two plus z two R two display style left sqrt x caret two plus y caret two R right caret two plus z caret two of this torus is diffeomorphic and hence homeomorphic to a product of a Euclidean open disk and a circle. The volume of this solid torus and the surface area of its torus are easily computed using Pappus's centroid theorem, giving a equals two pi r two pi r equals four pi two r r v equals pi r two two pi r equals two pi two r r two. Display style begin aligned r and equals left two pi r right left two pi r right equals four pi caret two r r v and equals left pi r caret two right left two pi r right equals two pi caret two r r caret two end aligned. These formulas are the same as for a cylinder of length two pi r and radius r obtained from cutting the tube along the plane of a small circle and unrolling it by straightening out rectifying the line running around the center of the tube. 
The losses in surface area and volume on the inner side of the tube exactly cancel out the gains on the outer side. Expressing the surface area and the volume by the distance p of an outermost point on the surface of the torus to the center, and the distance q of an innermost point so that r p plus q, 2 and r p minus q, 2, yields a equals 4 pi 2 p plus q 2 p minus q 2 equals pi 2 p plus q p minus q v equals 2 pi 2 p plus Q two P minus Q two two equals one four pi two P plus Q P minus Q two display style begin aligned R and equals four pi carrot two left frac P plus Q two right left frac P Q two right equals pi carrot two P plus Q P Q V and equals two pi carrot two left frac P plus Q two right left frac P Q two right carrot two equals T F R A C one four pi carrot two P plus Q P Q carrot two end aligned as a torus is the product of two Two circles, a modified version of the spherical coordinate system is sometimes used. In traditional spherical coordinates, there are three measures: r, the distance from the center of the coordinate system, and theta and phi, angles measured from the center point. As a torus has effectively two center points, the center points of the angles are moved. Phi measures the same angle as it does in the spherical system, but is known as the toroidal direction. The center point of theta is moved to the center of r and is known as the poloidal direction. These terms were first used in a discussion of the Earth's magnetic field, where poloidal was used to denote the direction toward the poles. In modern use, these terms are more commonly used to discuss magnetic confinement fusion devices. Topic: <laughs> Topology. Topologically, a torus is a closed surface defined as the product of two circles, S1 times S1. This can be viewed as lying in C2 and is a subset of the 3 sphere S3 of radius square root 2. This topological torus is also often called the Clifford torus. In fact, S3 is filled out by a family of nested tori in this manner with two degenerate circles, a fact which is important in the study of S3 as a fiber bundle over S2, the Hof bundle. The surface described above, given the relative topology from R3, is homeomorphic to a topological torus as long as it does not intersect its own axis. A particular homeomorphism is given by stereographically projecting the topological torus into R3 from the north pole of S3. The torus can also be described as a quotient of the Cartesian plane under the identifications x y x plus 1 y x y plus 1 Display style x y sim x plus one y sim x y plus one, or equivalently, as the quotient of the unit square by pasting the opposite edges together, described as a fundamental polygon ABBA minus one b minus one. The fundamental group of the torus is just the direct product of the fundamental group of the circle with itself. Pi one t two equals pi one. S one times Pi one S one Z times Z Display style Pi underscore one Math BF T carrot two equals Pi underscore one S carrot one times Pi underscore one S carrot one Kong Math BF Z times Math BF Z Intuitively speaking, this means that a closed path that circles the torus whole, say, a circle that traces out a particular latitude and then circles the torus body, say, a circle that traces out a particular longitude can be deformed to a path that circles the body and then the whole. So, strictly latitudinal and strictly longitudinal paths commute. 
An equivalent statement may be imagined as two shoelaces passing through each other, then unwinding, then rewinding. If a torus is punctured and turned inside out then another torus results, with lines of latitude and longitude interchanged. This is equivalent to building a torus from a cylinder, by joining the circular ends together, in two different ways, around the outside like joining two ends of a garden hose, or through the inside like rolling a sock with the toe cut off. Additionally, if the cylinder was made by gluing two opposite sides of a rectangle together, choosing the other two sides instead will cause the same reversal of orientation. The first homology group of the torus is isomorphic to the fundamental group this follows from Hurevich theorem since the fundamental group is abelian. Two-sheeted cover The two-torus double covers the two-sphere, with four ramification points. Every conformal structure on the two-torus can be represented as a two-sheeted cover of the two-sphere. The points on the torus corresponding to the ramification points are the Weierstrass points. In fact, the conformal type of the torus is determined by the cross-ratio of the four points. N-dimensional torus The torus has a generalization to higher dimensions, the n-dimensional torus, often called the n-torus or hypertorus for short. This is one of two different meanings of the term, n-torus, recalling that the torus is the product space of two circles, the n-dimensional torus is the product of n circles. That is T n equals S 1 times times s 1 n display style math bft caret n equals under brace s caret 1 times c d o t s times s caret 1 underscore n the one torus is just the circle t1 equals s1 the torus discussed above is the two torus t2 and similar to the two torus the n torus tennessee can be described as a quotient of rn under integral shifts in any coordinate that is, the n torus is Rn modulo the action of the integer lattice sink with the action being taken as vector addition. Equivalently, the n torus is obtained from the n dimensional hypercube by gluing the opposite faces together. An n torus in this sense is an example of an n dimensional compact manifold. It is also an example of a compact abelian Lie group. This follows from the fact that the unit circle is a compact abelian Lie group when identified with the unit complex numbers with multiplication. Group multiplication on the torus is then defined by coordinate-wise multiplication. Toroidal groups play an important part in the theory of compact Lie groups. This is due in part to the fact that in any compact Lie group G one can always find a maximal torus, that is, a closed subgroup which is a torus of the largest possible dimension. Such maximal tori T have a controlling role to play in theory of connected G toroidal groups are examples of protori, which like tori are compact connected abelian groups, which are not required to be manifolds. Automorphisms of T are easily constructed from automorphisms of the lattice sink, which are classified by invertible integral matrices of size n with an integral inverse, these are just the integral matrices with determinant plus or minus 1. Making them act on Rn in the usual way, one has the typical toral automorphism on the quotient. The fundamental group of an n torus is a free abelian group of rank n. The kth homology group of an n torus is a free abelian group of rank n. Choose k. It follows that the Euler characteristic of the n torus is zero for all n. The cohomology ring H Tennessee Z can be identified with the exterior algebra over the Z module zinc, whose generators are the duals of the n non-trivial cycles. Topic. Configuration space As the n torus is the n fold product of the circle, the n torus is the configuration space of n ordered, not necessarily distinct points on the circle. Symbolically, Tennessee equals S1 n. The configuration space of unordered, not necessarily distinct points is accordingly the orbifold Tennessee, S n, which is the quotient of the torus by the symmetric group on n letters by permuting the coordinates. For n, Topic 2. The quotient is the Mobius strip, the edge corresponding to the orbifold points where the two coordinates coincide. For n, 
3 This quotient may be described as a solid torus with cross section and equilateral triangle, with a twist, equivalently, as a triangular prism whose top and bottom faces are connected with a one third twist. 120 degrees. The three dimensional interior corresponds to the points on the three torus where all three coordinates are distinct, the two dimensional face corresponds to points with two coordinates equal and the third different, while the one dimensional edge corresponds to points with all three coordinates identical. These orbifolds have found significant applications to music theory in the work of Dmitry Timichko and collaborators Felipe Posada and Michael Kalinas, et al., being used to model musical triads. <laughs> <laughs> Flat torus The flat torus is a torus with the metric inherited from its representation as the quotient, R2 per liters, where L is a discrete subgroup of R2 isomorphic to Z2. This gives the quotient the structure of a Riemannian manifold. Perhaps the simplest example of this is when L equals Z2, R2, Z2, which can also be described as the Cartesian plane under the identifications x, y tilde x plus 1, y tilde x, y plus 1. This particular flat torus and any uniformly scaled version of it is known as the square flat torus. This metric of the square flat torus can also be realized by specific embeddings of the familiar two torus into Euclidean four space or higher dimensions. Its surface has zero Gaussian curvature everywhere. Its surface is flat in the same sense that the surface of a cylinder is flat. In three dimensions one can bend a flat sheet of paper into a cylinder without stretching the paper, but you cannot then bend this cylinder into a torus without stretching the paper unless you give up some regularity and differentiability conditions, see below. A simple four-dimensional Euclidean embedding of a rectangular flat torus more general than the square one is as follows x y z w equals r cos u R sin u p cos v p sin v display style x y z w equals r cos u r sin u p cos v p sin v, where r and p are constants determining the aspect ratio. It is diffeomorphic to a regular torus, but not isometric. It can not be analytically embedded smooth of class CK 2K infinity into Euclidean 3 space. Mapping it into 3 space requires you to stretch it, in which case it looks like a regular torus, for example, the following map x y z equals r plus p sin v cos u r plus P sin V sin U P cos V display style x y z equals r plus p sin V cos U r plus p sin V sin U p cos V. If r and p in the above flat torus form a unit vector r p. Topic. Cos eta, sin eta, then u, v, and eta can be used to parameterize the unit three sphere in a parameterization associated with the Hoff map. In particular, for certain very specific choices of a square flat torus in the three sphere S three, where eta pi four above, the torus will partition the three sphere into two congruent solid tori subsets with the aforesaid flat torus surface as their common boundary. One example is the torus T defined by T equals x y z w element of S three x two plus y two equals one two z two plus w Two equals one two. Display style t equals left x y z w in math bf s carrot three mid x carrot two plus y carrot two equals frac one two z carrot two plus w carrot two equals frac one two right. 
Other tori in S3 having this partitioning property include the square tori of the form Qt, where Q is a rotation of four-dimensional space R4, or in other words Q is a member of the Lie group SO It is known that there exists no C2 twice continuously differentiable embedding of a flat torus into three space. The idea of the proof is to take a large sphere containing such a flat torus in its interior, and shrink the radius of the sphere until it just touches the torus for the first time. Such a point of contact must be a tangency. But that would imply that part of the torus, since it has zero curvature everywhere, must lie strictly outside the sphere, which is a contradiction. On the other hand, according to the Nash Kuiper theorem, proven in the 1950s, an isometric C1 embedding exists. This is solely an existence proof, and does not provide explicit equations for such an embedding. In April 2012, an explicit C1 continuously differentiable embedding of a flat torus into three-dimensional Euclidean space R3 was found. It is similar in structure to a fractal as it is constructed by repeatedly corrugating a normal torus. Like fractals, it has no defined Gaussian curvature. However, unlike fractals, it does have defined surface normals. It is a flat torus in the sense that as metric spaces, it is isometric to a flat square torus. These infinitely recursive corrugations are used only for embedding into three dimensions, they are not an intrinsic feature of the flat torus, this is the first time that any such embedding was defined by explicit equations, or depicted by computer graphics. <laughs> Genus G surface In the theory of surfaces there is another object, the genus G surface. Instead of the product of n circles, a genus G surface is the connected sum of G2 tori. To form a connected sum of two surfaces, remove from each the interior of a disk and glue the surfaces together along the boundary circles. To form the connected sum of more than two surfaces, sum two of them at a time until they are all connected. In this sense, a genus G surface resembles the surface of G donuts stuck together side by side, or a two sphere with G handles attached. As examples, a genus zero surface without boundary is the two sphere, while a genus one surface without boundary is the ordinary torus. The surfaces of higher genus are sometimes called n-hold tori, or rarely n-fold tori. The terms double torus and triple torus are also occasionally used. The classification theorem for surfaces states that every compact connected surface is topologically equivalent to either the sphere or the connect sum of some number of tori, disks, and real projective planes. <laughs> Toroidal polyhedra Polyhedra with the topological type of a torus are called toroidal polyhedra, and have Euler characteristic V E plus F. Topic zero for any number holes, the formula generalizes to v minus e plus f two minus two n, where n is the number of holes. The term toroidal polyhedron is also used for higher genus polyhedra and for immersions of toroidal polyhedra. Topic automorphisms. The homeomorphism group or the subgroup of diffeomorphisms of the torus is studied in geometric topology. Its mapping class group, the connected components of the homeomorphism group, is isomorphic to the group GL N Z of invertible integer matrices and can be realized as linear maps on the universal covering space R N that preserve the standard lattice zinc. This corresponds to integer coefficients and thus descend to the quotient. At the level of homotopy and homology, the mapping class group can be identified as the action on the first homology or equivalently, first cohomology, or on the fundamental group, as these are all naturally isomorphic. Also the first cohomology group generates the cohomology algebra mcg t n equals aut pi 1 x equals aut Z N equals GL N Z Display style operator name MCG Math BF T carrot N equals operator name AUT Pi underscore one X equals operator name AUT Math BF Z carrot N equals operator name GL N Math BF Z 
Since the torus is an Eilenberg maclean space K G1, its homotopy equivalences, up to homotopy, can be identified with automorphisms of the fundamental group. That this agrees with the mapping class group reflects that all homotopy equivalences can be realized by homeomorphisms. Every homotopy equivalence is homotopic to a homeomorphism, and that homotopic homeomorphisms are in fact isotopic, connected through homeomorphisms, not just through homotopy equivalences. More tersely, the map homeo Tennessee she Tennessee is one connected isomorphic on path components onto fundamental group. This is a homeomorphism reduces to homotopy reduces to algebra result. Thus, the short exact sequence of the mapping class group splits. An identification of the torus as the quotient of R n gives a splitting via the linear maps as above. One homeo zero t n Homeo T N MCG T N one Display style one to operator name Homeo underscore zero Math BF T carrot N to operator name Homeo Math BF T carrot N to operator name MCG Math BF T carrot N to one So the homeomorphism group of the torus is a semidirect product Homeo T N homeo zero T N GL N Z Display style operator name homeo Math BF T carrot N Kong operator name homeo underscore zero Math BF T carrot N R times operator name GL N Math BF Z the mapping class group of higher genus surfaces is much more complicated, and an area of active research. Coloring a torus The torus's Heward number is 7, meaning every graph that can be embedded on the torus has a chromatic number of at most 7. Since the complete graph k 7 display style k underscore 7 can be embedded on the torus and chi k 7 equals 7 display style chi k underscore 7 equals 7 the upper bound is tight equivalently in a torus divided into regions it is always possible to color the regions using no more than 7 colors so that no neighboring regions are the same color Contrast with the four-color theorem for the plane. Topic: <cutting>, Cutting a torus. A solid torus of revolution can be cut by n greater than zero planes into maximally n plus two n minus one plus n n minus 1 equals 1 6 n 3 plus 3 n 2 plus 8 n Display style begin P matrix N plus two N one end P matrix plus begin P matrix N N one end P matrix equals TFRAC one six N carrot three plus three N carrot two plus eight N parts, the first eleven numbers of parts, for zero N ten, including the case of N equals zero, not covered by the above formulas, are as follows. 1, 2, 6, 13, 24, 40, 62, 91, 128, 174, 230. Sequence A 003600 in the OEIS. Topic. See also. Topic. Notes. Notions de Geometra Analytica y Algebra Lineal, ISBN 978-970-10-6596-9, Author, Kozak Anna Maria, Pompia Pastorelli Sonia, Verdenega Pedro Emilio, Editorial, McGraw Hill, Edition 2007, 744 pages, Language, Spanish Alan Hatcher. Algebraic Topology. Cambridge University Press, 2002. ISBN 0-521-79540-0.
V. V. Nikolin, I. R. Shavarovich. Geometries and Groups. Springer, 1987. ISBN 3 540 15281 4. ISBN 978 3 540 15281 1. Tor Notion Geometric. At Encyclopédie des Formes Mathematiques Remarkables.